my people have on a day. I salute and according to the time or depending on where and at and that they listen to us. I come again in peace, oh, my people, with this Obongo information today. Hmm. It concerns our brother you 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 hmm. I don't understand though. You 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 say he likes to be talked about, and that is why he had carried Judy Austin to come and dance again. My people now know the meaning of the song where they sing in Abara Gumba, where in Abara, where in Abara Ongwegi, in Abara Gumba, where in Abara, where in Abara Ongwegi, where Abara Gumba, meaning that. You the Dochi is a lion and uh, you cannot uh, you know rig a lion or quarrel a lion and because whenever you are speaking against a lion, you are speaking against yourself because lion is the most is the king of the jungle. You can't talk to a lion anyhow or those kind of thing. You know, my people no be smart, you know. You see, sometimes when I look at the relationship between you the you the Dochi and Judy Austin, I see a relationship between two unfocused and irresponsible people in the sense that these are people at this time who are supposed to have been so busy to work so busy to find something they will do but just because they want to cloud chase they want to you know confuse people over some certain things that are happening around that's why they just come to the social media because you the doche told us that it makes him happy when he is being talked about. And Judy Austin was there hyping him so much and calling him Ofuonyenyerora. Online Elos, do you know what Judy Ekwensu or whatever you call her and you the Doche is trying to say? He said he called you the Doche Ofuonyenyerora, meaning that one person that you know defeats many people, one person that defeats the crowd. What they are saying is that you the Doche has defeated us. He has defeated Premier and the fans. You understand? This is a social media defeat. <laughs> that is social media defeat. Oh, how I wish you the Deche will go to the court and defeat Premier. How I wish that Judy Ekwensu will go to court and defeat Mr. Bass. These are two people that their one leg is in Krikri, the other leg is out. Any small push, they enter Krikri, especially Judy Austin. Mr. Mrs. Sobasi. Just Judy Austin is not even thinking of the of the of the court case he has against Mr. Bassi. He's not thinking about what is going to come out of it because she has failed woefully and she's very, very guilty of all that the man is accusing her of. She's damn too guilty. Then and she knows that she's guilty. She knows that very soon the man if the man's uh, lawyer insists or make a little push. Judy Austin is entering Krikri. Judy Austin knows that she's already, you know, 75% into Krikri right now. So why is he still coming to dance? Somebody carried you to the court and told the court that he never married you. And you will still be answering the person's jail, And you are very happy. Somebody who is not so proud of you to announce to the court that he married you. What will it take you, Deduchi? It was only to show that, yes, I have failed. I failed because I married Ijele. I married the one I love. But she can, he cannot do that. He cannot tell the whole world that he married you. Neither can he tell the court that he married you. But they are still hyping him. It is not a matter of hyping. Very soon, some people are going to cry. Because even the person you are hyping will drop you and move on. That is just the thing. So the issue is that Judy Austin and you, Ledoche, came to make two statements. One, that they still did and, are still, and they, are, they, are, they are still winning. That is number one statement. They still did and they are still winning. Number two statement they come out to, do, to, to make is that you, Ledoche, cannot be defeated. That he is Ufonye Nyerora. Ufonye Nyerora one. Hmm? Ufonye Nyerora one. The lion. Ufonye Nyerora one. My people, no be smart, you know. You know, when it comes to Judy Austin and you, the Duchess case, I always tell people that it is a case that we don't know how to. You know, sometimes it becomes a nuisance to us. Sometimes we don't even understand how to go about it. Because... If you want to know, actually know the effect of Judy Austin's situation, go and ask anybody that is from a Duchess family. 
I think we are hearing today now that most of the Duce sons are dissociating themselves from the support you, the Duce, was enjoying in Jit Austin. Uche has removed his hand. Links already was not there before. Jean already was on the fence, neither here nor there. It's only Liu that, uh, that is standing strong in the support of uh, you, of you, the Duce, marrying Judy Austin. Leo had been there. But also, Leo is also removing the legs more small because nobody, they have seen that what is it that has affected the family's prestige and the family's reputation is Judy Austin. Without Judy Austin, Judy, uh, Duchess family has no problem. If Judy Austin has remained quiet, I think there is nothing anybody would have said about the Duchess family. Yes. If Judy Austin has remained calm, you understand? A second wife, or somebody who is coming to be a second wife, he has not even be, become a second wife. He has already taken to the social media, start attacking those who are fighting you, the Duce, who are trying to direct you, the Duce, who are trying to encourage you, the Duce, to do rewriting. Those who are advising you, the Duce, she has already started fighting tooth and nail, fighting dirty. I mean, fighting dirty to the extent that somebody would just ask, what's wrong with this lady? What's wrong with this lady? And look at it. Any time that a big thing is about to happen, our royal premier on the 16th of this month will celebrate her birthday, and she has already started launching a launching a, a support for the less privileged, the orphans and vulnerable children, and the widows, so that she wants to raise a little fund so that she can be able to reach out to a lot of people on her birthday. And because of that, these guys are afraid of what is going to happen on that day. They have started, you know, launching. Uh, uh, Will I say distraction? The information reaching us be say you Edoche also is is also asking for the invitation to be at our royal premier launch, the Oasis Foundation uh, outreach. She he's looking for uh, you know an, 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 an invitation to be there. See my people, it may not be uh, it may not be uh, uh, out of place that day. Don't be surprised. Let it not even surprise you. That you will come out on that day, on that Oasis Foundation launch, and you see Yuleduche coming there to claim the husband of me. Mark this. Mark this, I'm telling you now. Mark it. It will not be a surprising thing that you will just come out that day and see Yuleduche coming to the stage to stand beside me, to snap picture, and to so that the next thing you will hear all over the world, carried by his... Uh, supporters is that May and you has reconciled, and that has been showcased that you the Duce, attended her birthday, his her birthday, and also celebrated her Oasis Foundation program. I I I I am seeing something like that. But the thing is that the bouncers are there. So many people are going to receive some dirty and adult slap because when you try to violate the law, when you try to violate the rules guiding a particular place. The law will, will show its weight on you and you will have no option than to bow and obey. So as they are planning to come and disrupt or to come and distract whatever that is happening that day, because I, as far as I'm concerned, you, the Duce, showing you his face there that day is going to be a distraction. A very big distraction indeed that will not be tolerated by anybody. I'm telling you, it will not be tolerated. So that is why you see you, the Duce, now coming out to showcase with Judy Austin, so that people will still be thinking, ah, these people and their love, eh? ah, these two Tom and Jerry love, eh? ah, lie, lie. Was it not you, the Duchess and Judy Austin, that has serious waspos the other day concerning Christabel? Just because Christabel made a proposal to you, the Duchess, that after the contract they're about to do, that whatever she gets from the contract, she will use it and get a house for both of them. Judy Austin became mad, called Christabel, start making noise. Telling Christabel, nothing. You will fail. You will do this. You will do that. When Christabel is even making a better proposal to you, the Duchess, and I think one of the problems that Judy Austin has is that he doesn't have any proposal for you, the Duchess, except hyping. The only proposal he makes to you, the Duchess, let's go and dance. Let's go and dance. He doesn't, after that, no money. How much enters the, the Duchess account? That is the problem. How much enters you the Duchess account? Because that is what matters. Is how much are you bringing in as a woman, as a wife? How much are you bringing in? How much are you supporting your husband with? And Christabel has already offered a mansion. She already has contract. She already has 
uh, uh, shops and offices. She was already offering a contract that will yield money, offering to get a mansion. She already has a house. So she's of a better uh, option than you. And that is why Judy Austin is very, very afraid of, he, of her situation because her predicament is that she doesn't have what the other lady has. She doesn't have the money that she has, and that's the problem. So the only thing that Judy Austin has is to be always telling you the Duce, you know, telling you the Duce the words that he would like to hear. Ufunye <laughs> nyenora. Ufunye nyenora. You see, eh? my people say that if you hype person when no sabi anything, if you hype them, the thing they enter, they put the person into fire. Into fire. You see, if you Ledoche understands what he's what he's doing, he should use his head though, on this hyping of Judy Austin because if care is not taken, the hyping will lead him into the into into another thing. Because you will be hyping him in in the presence of those who are supposed to have helped him. Instead of you to help him, you are hyping him, and he will he will fall and crash. He will fall and crash, and he will just, he will not crash well. My people not be smart, you know. I'm telling you, no be smart, you know. Judy Austin is causing more harm to you, the Duce, than good. And it is not healthy for you, the Duce's life. You, the Duce, at this stage, supposed to have been established. If what happened did not happen, by now, you, the Duce, would have been one of the greatest actors in Africa. And she, he would have had so many things because he would have had broken the barrier. He would have, you know, expanded to several, several areas. He would have seen more because the higher you go, the clearer and the farer you see. The higher you move, the clearer and the farer you see. You know, Duce by now should have seen far, seen clearer, get some, or, 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 you know, suggestions, get some endorsements and everything. But right now, he is confined to that small self-content or that small one-bedroom flat that he is living with Judy in Enugu. The Abuja landlord has already sent them out and it is the one at Enugu that they are managing right now. And that is a very serious challenge to you, the Duce. My fans know be smart, you know. I want, to, I want you to know that you, the Duce, and Judy Austin's case is not going to last. What we are waiting for is the court case of October 15th and the court case between Judy Austin and Mr. Obasi in also in October. So I don't have the particular date of that one. I will teach you. You have just missed out the date, but I will tell you very soon everything will be revolving. Mr. Obasi will now go and claim in picking them because Judy Austin is already someone and she will certainly answer. And you, Edochi, is also at the court with our royal queen May. And 15th is the D-Day, the, 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 the day that everybody is waiting for. 15th of October is a very serious day in the life of you, the Duce, and Judy Austin. Because that day, Judy Austin will know whether she is completely free. But the challenge is that no matter how free she is, no matter how free she is, she will not be happy. You know why? Because giving you freedom to have you, the Duce, completely as your husband didn't do you anything good. Because you, the Duce, as your husband, without money, without anything, is not going to benefit you. So when we say that Judy Austin is going to be free, we mean that Pime will be free, you know, Judy Austin will just be free from, you know, Fighting with men. Because all these fight, fight, fight against with men. What are they dragging? You, the Duce. What again are they dragging? Quimme's property. So when the court has declared the owner of the property, declared you, the Duce, for Judy Austin, declared the properties for our royal Quimme, every other drag, 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 we end. Nobody drags anything again. And Quimme will be free from their dragging. They will never mention her name again. They will never remember her again. But is it going to be possible? Can you, the Duce, stay without our royal queen? I always sit and think, now you, the Duce, is trying to create some scene about our royal queen. I don't know what I will do if I'm not with my wife. May, may leave me. I will not survive it. May is my life. <laughs> October 15th has the answer to all this. Let's know whether May is your life or not. 
after we will see what happens in what I call post mayor life. There's going to be a post mayor life. Post mayor life means the life that you, Leducia, and the family would live after May had gone with her property, with everything she has in a Duchess family, after she has left with, with them, then we will now see how a Duchess, because definitely they will survive, definitely uh, they will live. There are people who are, the only thing is that they will now adjust to a life without May because a lot of things are going to change. And that is why uh, Sir Peter Duce and the wife are not very, very happy over this kind of development. But they are the cause of it because nobody was speaking loud at the first instance. Knowing the kind of son they have, being Yule Duce, knowing that he's someone that's so arrogant, so egocentric, so proud, that, she may, that he may not even listen to anybody. So, But that's why they should have started far, far, started at, on time to rebuke and to stop him from this kind of lifestyle he has he decided that he has chosen to do and because nobody was there to talk to him he now grew very very arrogant very very arrogant grew so arrogant that it's as if nobody can even talk to her my people now so the gist reach you i say make i touch light and wait on you the Duchy and judy austin are just on social media deceiving people calling themselves ufonian you know like as in person we no get money boy up i don't give uniform whenever see food chop whenever I even pay study can in the busy school fees where they even the beg links making register them free they have they don't even they call people where go talk to links so that links go accept and register they picking them free still they there they hype themselves Ufonye nyinora, tenkobo, you know get. Ufonye nyinora, you never chop since morning. Ufonye nyinora, you know even, you can't even solve your problems and you call yourself a fool. What is the Ufonye nyinora? What do you mean by that? Every time Judy Austin will just be developing words, developing statements and words that he uses to hype you, the doche, and none of them will correspond with what actually is happening. Hmm? That's my challenge and that's my pain. That's my challenge. So Judy Austin himself or herself should be very, very ashamed of herself. The way she has been talking, hyping you the duchy without anything coming out of it. She should also be ashamed of herself that all these hypes have not been yielding any result. What is it? What will she even claim about it? All this hyping, no result. Nothing to show for it. There is nothing to show for it. Every day is a ticket, is a ticket, is a ticket. That's all. How much? Do you think that you, the Duchy, is not If very soon he will get used to this thing and you get bored. And when he gets bored and gets used to these things, it will be so difficult for you to survive it because that thing you are giving to this young man is not what he needs at this time. It's not. So that's the challenge. That's the challenge. But I don't know. You know, what we do is that we'll keep our singers crossed and wait because Nyinora. let's see what, how it's going to end. October 15th, we show Nyinora. <laughs> Judy Austin, your own, now the pity because the kind of click we didn't go put you when Mr. Basi go give statement, even you, Leduche, you are waiting for, cannot come on your aid. My people, now so they just reach our table, I say, make a touch light on with you. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please try to subscribe. All our returning subscribers will say, well done and welcome. My people, make you have a nice day. Bye.